Yeah, brand new modem. Let me do one thing. Hi, everybody. By the way, you can come over and sit next to me and use this microphone. Then the people on the TV can see you. You can just talk into the mic I'm talking mic. into. This it's mic. over there. It's over, yeah. This one. No, 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 don't do that. Don't move stuff. Don't move stuff. God knows I had enough problems last night. Don't move stuff. I can't talk. Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, you'll be able to talk into the microphone, but if you move over, see, see, if people can see you. See that? Hold on a second. I, I'm just trying to get these things uh, smaller so I can have a little screen over here and see what my video is. Okay. Okay. And, and and look, and see see if you just I, I'll put the microphone there. I'll have to get closer. Okay. Well, you have to get close to me. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Okay. So now what I'll do is turn on the screen so everybody can see the everybody. guys, yeah. and then we'll put us on the bottom there. And there we go. Know. So anyway, what were you saying, Phil? Uh, uh, no, you, I asked you if you got a new modem. You said yes. Was it the same one that you had before? No. No. This is a UB modem. Uh, a UB, yeah. I've I've heard about them. They're, they're not they're not bad. The only thing is, you know, I like it so that you can uh, bring up the uh, the diagnostics and stuff and go in there and turn things on and off. And here in Manhattan, Time Warner keeps the password and the uh, they say they keep the name and the password a secret. Well, the, it turns out, I looked online, the, the name is admin, which is, is <laughs> very, the, very original. the most common password ever in the, in the history of, uh, what? of, of, of uh, What's passwords, right? Rob, you're an I, IT What's guy. The you're an IT password? guy. Password? What's no, the password? The password, which they hide from you and they refuse to tell you, is, what? is written on the bottom of the... Uh, of the, of the modem. It says password. <laughs> <laughs> so the name is? Admin, and, admin the password and the password is, is password. No, no, no. The password, oh, the password is, is like PQR13 oh. exclamation point, blah, blah, blah. Can you change it yourself? I can change it, yeah. 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 But I don't intend to change it. I just said uh, just want to get I had the there. computer remember it, so it's always there whenever I go there. And if it is, if I forget it, it's on the bottom of the uh, modem. <laughs> you know so anyway so uh uh here we are uh and Ma i'm awake i'm awake muhammad, yeah. muhammad ali any remembrances at all you know never fought the know, man. I, was, <laughs> I was gonna say the first uh, uh olympics i was ever aware of was the 1960 olympics That's and one of the won. reasons was because of cash's play uh, yeah yeah fighting for the uh, gold medal and he boxing. won he won the gold Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. That's right. He was Cassius Clay then. He was Cassius Clay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't remember the 1960 Olympics, except for the fact that when I started skiing in California, I started going to a place called Squaw Valley, and that's where they had the 1960 uh, skiing oh, Olympics. Uh, the winter. Yeah. Yeah, the winter Olympics. And, well, what does that uh, have to do with Muhammad Ali? 1960 Olympics. Oh, oh. oh, they had the winter and the summer the, in, at the same time. In the same year. In the same year. The same time, yeah. They didn't separate. Yeah, that's how come I. Later. That's how come I went to so many Olympics. Yeah. I went to what? Uh, I went to uh, let's see, Alberville, and then I went to uh, Barcelona, and then I went to Lillehammer, and then I went to Atlanta. There was, I think, one other. That LA? I went to. But LA. I could do that because it only happened over a period of like four years, you know. Yeah. And then they decided they would, uh, and I can't remember, did they skip backwards and make it only a two-year difference? In other words, uh, or, or did they uh, put a six-year span? No, no, it was two it, years. It's two it was years. two years. Yeah. yeah. And they moved, it, they kept the summer the way it was and moved the winter. To did we all. boycott uh, the 80 Olympics so that there was 84. a period? 84? No, I thought it was 80. 80. Eight. No, it's the other way around. Russia boycotted 84. We boycotted 80. You're right. Yeah, yeah. because because well, Carter was president. Yeah. And now people are boycotting Brazil because who wants to get the Zika who virus? Who wants to be there? I mean, between their their high crime rates, yeah. between their poverty, um, the fact that they haven't finished half of the uh, stadiums, 
the fact that they have the Zeta virus. The fact that they don't have a president. <laughs> uh, right, that's right. You know, I mean, it, it, it was the worst place you could possibly, I mean, just for the sheer poverty. I mean, they went into the favelas, which were the poverty-stricken areas, and built the stadiums there. You know, so you got to wade through all this poverty to get to the stadium. And you had to get people out of their houses. They did that in China, too. Yeah. They, they moved people out of their houses. When I first went to Barcelona, I, it was uh, under Franco. And then Franco died, and he hated uh, Barcelona because it was a the stronghold for the Basques. And he did an amazing thing. He starved them out. I mean, he was just, uh, he hated them. But then he died. Well, and they're the Catalan. The uh, Catalan. And they yeah. always kind of considered themselves separate. Well, of, they, uh, to this day, would like, kind of would like to have their own nation of Catalonia. But yeah. it's probably never going to happen. But anyway, he, it, he made their lives miserable. And the, the town was the most pathetic town you ever saw. Well, then they held the Olympics there, and we went back for the Olympics. And this was after the death of Franco, and I and I said to my partner, Lori Thompson, I said, get ready to see just a miserable-looking town. And we went there, and they had, for the Olympics, spent billions, literally, dredging the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the, uh, uh, the harbor and uh, cleaning, cleaning all the fountains and everything like that. And I got to tell you, it was it, the most gorgeous, and it still is, one of the most gorgeous cities I've ever been in in my life. I mean, it almost rivals Paris in a lot of ways. Well, you look oh, at by the, the way, the welcome, to Mark, well, welcome to Mark Green to our special Saturday version of Alex Bennett's new modem. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Well, hello, guys. Yeah. How are Hi. You, you look at the influence of Gaudi in, uh, in Barcelona and uh, the buildings... Uh, from uh, La Familia to, uh, I can't pronounce it correctly, the Park the Park Rule. Gael. Gael. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, those uh, those apartment buildings that he designed. And, and it's, it's the architecture there is just phenomenal. But, you know, uh, just like all artists who are, are interesting and different, uh, he was vilified while he was alive. I mean, they never even finished the Familia Sagrada, which is the church. He only built the front of it, which is is wonderful. I mean, it looks like melting wax, but when you get really close, it's all these figures and people. And it's, it, it's amazing. Just an amazing church. And just then they, stare it. Then they built, a, a bunch of students built the backside, which was supposedly to his... Well, he left the instructions. To his instructions, yeah. which was very modern and very sleek, kind of. It has the kind of... The center is empty. Huh? The center is empty. It shouldn't be. It, it's supposed to. I mean, when it's finished, it's supposed to have a, a, a church in there, you uh -huh. know. But it took him something like 70, 80 years to do this damn thing. It's supposed to be. It's gorgeous. It was gorgeous when I was there, and they were building it. And the f part he did finish in his lifetime was beautiful. It's just, you know, it's a beautiful town. Just a beautiful town. So how you doing, Mark? We haven't seen you for a little bit. I'm good. Yeah, I've been working and I get up early so I don't get to call as much as I'd like to but tomorrow is obviously not a work day it, yeah all right but I saw you you had trouble last night um, but I called today tonight because of Muhammad Ali yeah yeah I was a huge I was a little kid uh, in Detroit probably 10 years old when he was you know on the radio with Howard Cosell and that kind of made me a fan of AM radio mm-hmm Listening to those boxing broadcasts with, you know, and and, how, and he and Howard Cosell kind of played off one another. Oh, and, beautifully. Oh, and I was like 10 years old, and I'm just listening to that. I'm fascinated by this. And then um, when I heard it today and people commenting about his death, talking about his, pro, his, his failure to go in the Army. And... I, I think I've told you I'm, I'm a Vietnam veteran, and but he, it took more courage for him to do what he did. That's right. Than anyone I've ever seen before. Well, I often said this back in those days. I said I don't admire anybody who runs off to Canada, not because they're evading service, but because they're not fighting service. They're not clogging up the court systems to slow this thing down. 
Muhammad Ali didn't go running. He stood his ground and, uh, you know, he it took, you know, he, and he did it in the prime of his career, too, when he needed all those matches and he needed to fight. I think there was a three-year period where he was banned from fighting. There was a period where yeah. he was banned. Well, he what it was is he was, he was, he was banned in certain states. Right. And so he could fight in the states that didn't ban him. But, I mean, he, he, he was a great boxer. He was maybe the greatest of all time. He could have been the greatest of ever and ever and ever if, if he had, he had been able years. to have those three years. Yeah. I think it was more Didn't than three years. Title? Huh? Didn't he lose his title? Yeah. I think yeah. so. And he was banned. Him from yeah, and he was banned from fighting. Yeah, he, he, got, he got stripped of his title. Yeah. Um, but but, he, but here's, the, here's my point. He could have chosen to go the Elvis Presley route. Yeah. Or the Ronald Reagan route. Where all he had to do was say, okay, I'll go up here at the, you know, those, what's the, the organization? USO. USO. Yeah. He could have chosen to do that, never picked up a rifle, but he, but he didn't do that. He, he chose to take the tough, he chose the tough route. He did. Yeah, he did. he did. You know, and, and he was, and he was mocked and criticized for that. And hated by some people. Oh, oh yeah. You know, as I say, you know, th this boxing match that I saw him do was done at a time when he was fighting this, and so he had to go to court in uh, in Houston. So I was kind of I I think I had press credentials at the time. I went down there to see him, and uh, there he was. And I was just you know I, I was just amazingly overwhelmed by a couple of things, not the least of which was how tall this man was, how big he was. I mean, you don't realize it. I mean, he was a heavyweight champ, which means he, he, he had bulk, you know. He was, he, was imp he was impressive. Charlie may know better, but I think he was like 6'3", you know. Oh, really? Um, that sounds familiar, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah he, was, he, was, he was a tough guy, but he, but he fought like nobody I've ever seen before. When he came out in, yeah. the, in the middle of that ring, of course, he was going after Big Cat Williams, you know, a guy who'd been shot in the gut. But uh, he, he went in there. I think he felt, I'm going to get him out of the way mercifully here. And he, he, he just, he did it, you know. And as I say, the, the people who were jeering him as he walked into the ring, hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Who walked into the ring... Um, uh, who booed him when he was walking in the ring? Were cheering him when he left. You know. Uh, well, he, he he fought with a style that wasn't the style of the day. He wasn't the just bang away. You know. No, well, he did the rope a dope thing. He, which, he, was, he, great he, at he that. was He was an athlete. One of the he was Donald Trump of boxing. The rope a dope <laughs> thing was. I don't him. think he has anything at all to do with Donald Trump. You know, you no, know, you he, know yeah, he's yeah, a man of. Yeah, yeah, if he didn't do the, if he didn't do the rope a dope, he probably wouldn't have gotten uh, uh, Parkinson's. But all that beating he took, because he taught himself how to take a beating, yeah. and so he just wore the opponent out by letting him beat the shit out of him, and then when they were weak enough, he knocked them out. But he covered yeah, but he up. Did do that. He didn't do that the whole his whole career. He didn't do that, I know. you know, in the yeah, early yeah. years. But I'm saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me hold on a second. Let me just a uh, little slap back there. Yeah, no, still happening. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, can you can you guys remember a, a boxer named Floyd Patterson? Sure. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He fought Floyd Patterson twice. And he and Floyd Patterson. Well, was Floyd Patterson was wait, Floyd Patterson was the champ before Ali. And then Ali right. beat him right. and became champ. Yeah, but, but Floyd Patterson and some other guys mocked Ali for becoming a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. They, they would not refer to him, Charlie, in his Muhammad Ali name. After he changed his name, they still called him Cassius Clay. And Ali got in the ring with Frazier, or with, Frazier, with uh, Patterson, and was beating the hell out of him. Just had totally had his way about him. And he would give up. Patterson, a flurry of, of punches, and then say, "What's my name, Floyd?" <laughs> <laughs> you can read his lips, taunting Patterson to to, to to stop, to call me by what I want to be called. That's funny. Uh, okay, yeah. a little trivia for you. Yeah, it's uh, a great story. A little trivia, a little trivia for you. You know, there are a few famous figures 
who have played themselves in the movies. Like Jackie Robinson starred in the Jackie Robinson story. Did he? Yeah. Um, uh, Now, there are sports figures and people who have appeared as cameos playing... uh, um, uh, there was a Harold Lloyd uh, Jr. Uh, uh, film uh, with called Speedy, in which uh, uh, Babe Ruth gets into his cab, but that doesn't count. Muhammad Ali made a movie about his life and starred in it. What was it called? I am the greatest. <laughs> you're, clo- you're very close, Charles. Take uh, take away. I am. Uh, it, was greatest. it was called The Greatest. Yeah. And what song was introduced as the theme song in that movie before Whitney Houston ever sang it? Think logically, Charlie. You just gave me one answer. <laughs> greatest Love? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. It's the th- I went back and looked at the movie tonight, and it's the theme song of the movie. Now, Sung by who? George Benson? No, the guy who. Uh, re- uh, yes, I think it was George Benson. As a matter, yeah, of that's fact. he because he did the original before Whitney made it. Yeah, really. I used to love. I love his version. Uh, she did it in 1983 or something like that, and he and the song was in the movie in 1977. Right, that's about right. Um, uh, and um, uh, now, and who played Muhammad? Uh, who played Malcolm X in that film? Well, of course, I'm asking people who've never seen the movie, so why am I even making this a yeah. contest? Malcolm X. I'll go with Malcolm X. Yeah. <laughs> no. Malcolm Y. Huh? Malcolm Y. N- no. <laughs> Malcolm Y. This is CNN. Oh. James oh, Earl oh, Jones. Blitzer. Yeah. Oh, really? Played Malcolm X. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, I, you know... Um, uh, but I, I went back and looked at it a little bit tonight, and he wasn't a great actor. But if you look at that movie, and then you look at the uh, the movie done by uh, Will Smith, it's like they almost frame for frame took this movie and rewrote it, updated it, uh, not, and maybe updated it a little bit, and made the movie with Will Smith because they're almost identical films, you know. So that's my that's my Ali trivia for tonight. He was great. He helped change a generation. I mean, he was right there well, when it was all happening. Yeah, but, but the, you know. I'm not saying he was the only one. But today, to hear the accolades, I yeah. mean, really, I mean, it's wall to wall Muhammad Ali to hear the accolades and then to remember how much he was reviled in a certain segment of this society. And love. Is amazing. It's true. Is just oh, amazing. We, huh? We all love them yeah. in Chicago and black community <laughs> well what was not to love especially if you're black yourself you know i mean that's it's it's uh, he was um, an amazing person and it was uh, it, and we could say it's sad to see him go he he should have lived longer you know uh, i and, just don't understand how he lost to leon spinks uh just age age i mean that was you know he was he was pushing it far beyond the uh the limit because he had those years off and he had to make up for them, you know. Uh, and Leon Spinks doesn't understand how he won that fight. No. So, yeah. It's Spinks. Did he ever win another fight after that? I, I, I think don't so. think so. But he got some new teeth. Oh, well, no, no. He, in fact, he lost the next fight, which was a world heavyweight title. And right. I, can't, I can't remember who beat him. It probably uh, was. Holyfield. It, I, thought, I think maybe it was me. Oh, yeah. it was yeah. Holyfield. <laughs> who, who's, who's the really big guy that's uh, 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 you know gone uh, had a lot of financial problems lately um, uh, he has tattoos on his face oh, you're, oh. You're, uh, yeah. what's his name Mike Tyson Mike Tyson did he didn't did he uh, was it Holyfield or him Tyson that beat Spinks um, I don't know who beat Spinks to tell you the truth somebody would have to look that Scott. up Scott Probably Scott. Out. Scott, you're our you're our uh, researcher on the program. We'll we'll let you uh, go for that one. Uh, I was Spinks saying after he won the fight, I'm going to get me some new Tifus. <laughs> yeah, <remember that. laughs> yeah but when Muhammad Ali was champion of the world, 
I think the whole world knew who he was. I think yeah. he was the most famous person on the planet. Yeah. Uh, and I now, would, I, and now I, maybe, I, can't name, I can't tell you right now who's the heavyweight champion of the world. I can't uh, name that person. Uh, who, who, it looks like uh, Ken Norton beat uh, Sphinx. Really? Okay. Really? Ken Norton? Yeah, so what did he do? Regain the title? He, well, he was knocked out by... Ben by Ali uh, beat Ken Norton to get it back, didn't he? Let's see. Yeah. Muhammad lost to Leon Sphinx. Leon Sphinx, I don't know. He, he got another one. Then Norton beat him, then Larry Holmes, and then Muhammad beat Larry Holmes. Okay. So he kept going after Spinks? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it was an embarrassing loss to Spinks, and then uh, Ali said, you know, I just didn't really work for that fight because I didn't think I could possibly lose it against this guy. <laughs> you know. Hey guys, I'm gonna say goodnight. Okay, say goodnight. See, you've been I on. You've been on screen. Hour. You've been on. Wow. You've been Good on. Job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. You've been on screen with me. It's within my my time frame. I didn't fall asleep. She, yeah, but now it's going to be ten o'clock, and she right, will. Right, I'm getting tired. All right, sweetie. Bye yeah. mm, yeah. yeah. okay. bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, um, and you will see her walk out through the back on. the back door here. I got clothes on. Okay. She, yeah, those, that, those are actual shorts she's wearing. She wants you to know that. Although today she has a friend come over, and I'm lying in the bedroom in my underpants, and she says, oh, and here's my husband. And I go, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know, but I wear boxers, so they kind of look like they're shorts, so whatever. No, but I just, you know, I... Um, uh, he, he, you know, he was a great man. It, I felt real. What I, I, I don't feel bad about him dying as much as I felt bad about him having Parkinson's. Yeah. You know, because to That's see a guy that vital, and we're talking about really vital. You especially watch him in the early days where he's saying his poetry and he's yeah. yelling and screaming at the opponent and whatever. And to see him, you know, just leveled by this thing now supposedly he was a, still very funny and he still you could still kind of engage him in a conversation as he got older that would got more and more impossible but he was uh, it, they say it wasn't that he wasn't alert you know that he was alert through all of that you know and so uh, anyway you know it's 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 um it's sad when i heard that he was in the hospital and the family had gathered around him i said that's it you know, yeah. it's only a matter of hours before we hear that he's dead. And it was kind of sad. So on a weekend, what do you do, Rob? This is like, this is time off for you tonight. Yeah, I'm just hanging out. And my wife pointed out, because I don't have Facebook, that you were doing the show tonight. And I thought, oh, cool. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I've been, it's been a busy uh, getting up very early, so... I was going to be on Thursday night, and then you you were in an interview pre-taped, and it went late, and I was like, you know what? I'm I was just I'm just going to go to bed because yeah. I had a I had my six month, uh, believe it or not, I've been with my company six months already. Yeah, uh, I had my six month review Friday morning at eight a.m. So how did that go? Went very well. Yeah. Very well. They what do they do at those reviews? Do they do they, um, do they tell you bad stuff? Nothing is ever said in a in a negative way it's all said as positive how you can improve and where you need to do you know what i mean they, they never say you suck at this or you yeah you know it's all done with positive reinforcement and yeah. and, and uh and my my manager is a great guy i mean what a great boss he really is and yeah. he works hard well, you know i've spent a lot of time with him over the past six months so yeah. uh it, I, there wasn't any surprises yeah. uh, uh phil's got his hand up phil in these reviews, there's something interesting. It's a term called a shit sandwich, where they in the review where they say how much they love you, then where you sucked. That's the shit in the middle of the sandwich, and then they love you, and then they send you off on your way. So they package the shit on two sides of bread, which is the love. And uh, so usually, what they do on these things is they just feed you a shit sandwich. You yeah. know, I didn't get any. I didn't get any shit. Huh? So, and I know, like you saw, I'm my toughest critic when I anything I do. And yeah. in fact, he told me you're really, really hard on yourself, because I know where I need to improve, and I know what I suck at, and I know what I'm pretty good at. Yeah. And I've told him over these past six months, 
And I'm always telling them, this is where I need to work. This is what I need to figure out. I haven't found a new way to do this or I haven't been able to do that. And so he didn't spend any time giving me shit. You know, well, I didn't. You had that sale. Wonderful. What's that? You had that sale that was, f uh, uh, you know, yeah, I, created. Yeah, that's true. But that, you know, there's still a huge, you know, the job is a huge scope. And I'm probably pretty good at maybe 35% of it. And I'm fair at about 40% of it. And I suck at about the last 20 or 30. But I didn't do the math exactly in my head. But that's kind of where I have it figured out. There are still areas I suck at because it's just, it's just so much. But, hey, yeah. I, you know, he told me, he said, look, he says, I think you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing. If you're here four years, if you were here four years and you're in the situation you're in now, we'd have a different conversation. So yeah. I'm happy with your progress and keep it up. So That's in all. other words, for, for six months, you're OK, but for four years, you're shitty. Is that what they're saying? For four <laughs> years, I need to I would. Yeah, I would definitely be. Stop. Yeah. He, if he told he said, if you were doing this for four years, I would say you may be in the wrong career. <laughs> Um, please excuse me for laughing, but that's a backhanded compliment, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's the it's honest, and you know he was basically because he didn't say anything negative, right? So what he did say was that to level set it. Look, I I grade you different than I grade the guys that have been here seven years and six years. Yeah. I don't expect you to be where they are. If you're at this level four five years from now, maybe you're not doing the right thing. So. You know, maybe you're in the wrong field. Maybe I can help. And he didn't even say you shouldn't be. You should be gone. He said if if that were to happen, he said, but I don't expect it will. I would help you find another job in the in you know in in the in within the company. Yes, Phil. Hey, Excuse me, I got to go look uh, at something. You always have a future in floor covering sales. I thought you well, you'll be <laughs> gone by then. <laughs> I hope so, but you know, uh, you know, when, whenever whenever anybody's ever beaten to the bottom of the barrel. That's floor covering. <laughs> There's nothing lower. Yeah. Well, well you know, it, it, it was funny. Today I I got a uh, uh, a delayed compliment. Um, or yesterday, as I'm talking to my ex boss Ed Kramp, out and lives in Sacramento now, and uh, he said to me, he said, the biggest mistake I ever made in my career was firing you oh, and then he said don't let anybody tell you anything else of all the people I've ever worked with in this business and he's worked with a lot of the best of them right he said you are the best he said you did the best radio show of anybody I ever worked with uh -huh. and I went well it's 30 years it's, uh, I waited 30 years to hear that, but to hear it from him was just, it, it, it just made my day, you know? Uh, I mean, it also made it worse being a has-been, but it made my day. It's <laughs> a nice words. Yeah. So why did he end up uh, letting you go? You know, I, one, that's one of the questions I asked him because I don't remember exactly why I was fired. I know I was fired, and I don't remember if my contract was up or they kept paying me or whatever. I think they kept paying me, actually. And uh, they wouldn't you off the air? For a while. But they took me off the air. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just, all of a sudden, I, I, lost, I lost pictures from everybody, folks. Yep. Let, me, let me put myself on full camera here just so yeah, that... My ca our until, camera just went off. Until everybody comes back. This, this happens. See, now... Uh, 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 Charles is uh, is grayed out. Now here's Rob. He's back again, and here comes Phil, and uh, I'm sure there's there's Mark, and there's Scott. And I think nope. I can probably bring the screens back again. As soon as Scott yes. comes in, then probably everybody. See how everybody, folks, is a, if you're watching on TV, is a little no. bit grayed out. Well, they'll get ungrayed out. It says you need Skype Premium to make group video calls. Do you know they don't have Skype Premium anymore? Has anybody told them that? Yeah, that's a you know, their message. Find out more. I don't want to find out more. How yeah, do I, everybody's dim, right? How do I get yeah. rid of that? Oh, I got everybody yeah. clear. Yeah, no, but it's it's clear, all it's all dim. it's all dim. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Uh, how do I get out of this though? That's what I want to know. Oh, I know. My camera is off, so I turn my camera on. There we That'll go. Help, yeah. There we go. 
There you Excuse go. me, folks with the uh, TV watchers, but that's Skype for you. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah, so it was nice uh, to hear that from me. Oh, so I can't, can't remember exactly why. And he said, well, they fired me because they got this hair up their ass. The ratings were down a little bit. I was depressed over an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> And one day, the program director, who, by the way, likes what I do now, especially, said, we got, we got to get rid of him. We, we, I love this guy in San Jose. His name is Perry Stone. Let's go hire him. I shouldn't tell the story because I, I'm, I'm wasting it because I'm going to tell it on Life in the Passing Lane. But I'll tell it here now anyway because who's listening to this? Anyway, uh, and he said they decided that uh, they, they get rid of me and get this Perry Stone to come to work for him. And Perry Stone took the station into the dumper. They went from like, I don't know, my ratings were down at the time. I think I was in the twos. He took them into the ones, you know. And then when I came back, they hired me back. It was then a different general manager because Ed had quit. And this guy, Pat, rehired me. And in the next book, I had like a 3.3, which was higher than the rating I had when I, when I left. So, you know, when people miss you, all of a sudden they come flocking back to you. But when you've been there for so many years, they start taking you for granted. You know, so. Yeah, yeah talking about life in the passing lane, your California girl issue. Yeah, um, yeah about all my uh, girlfriends. I, 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 yeah, I need to uh, uh, help you clarify your uh, red deal. Uh, I was one of the few people that knew about her, mm -hmm. uh, and the way you said this, well, let me that explain. Let me explain this case. People haven't heard it. This is a woman that I went with, on and off. I mean, we we had a, a, a we had a be friends with benefits relationship, and it went on for about two or three years, and nobody around me knew about it. And I guess you did, right? Yeah. Well, what happened was you showed me. Uh, now it was just before. I moved out of my Sausalito apartment, and that was just before I got married, which was July, uh, uh, late July of, of 84, I think. Mm -hmm. but no, no, no 80, 82, I think I got. Yeah. So uh, what happened was you showed me this letter that, the, that Red wrote you, and she included a photograph or two of her, and one didn't you know, have a top on, and uh, she said she wanted to meet you. And uh, you had said... <laughs> uh, look at this, you know, and and you used my apartment in Sausalito uh, as your first liaison. Did I with, really? Yes. And uh, so I remember the letter. I remember the picture. Did I put uh, a towel picture. on the sheets before I used them? <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's okay. I changed. And, uh, and you used my apartment. So it was prior to you moving to the city, mm -hmm. you were still living in Sausalito yeah. at that time. Yeah, well, I remember she used to come over to my place when my wife was out of town. You know, well, my wife and I had an arrangement anyway, yeah, so I didn't feel guilty. Yeah, I know Susan very well. But, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the thing, what you said was uh, she'd come knocking on your door or something. I have to listen to it again, but it didn't equate to the, the letter and the timing and well i don't remember the letter and i don't remember the timing exactly but i do remember that our relationship she got married and we kept having a relationship yeah you know uh, i uh, and um uh then she uh, then she got divorced she was uh, she left her husband i i went over to her place once in uh, contra costa and she said i'm leaving my husband and i said that's too bad and he, she said, why? I said, because then that's going to be the end of us. And she said, well, no, now we can have all this time together. And we can do it out in the open, you know? And I said, uh, then you're, you're not sneaking. It, then you're not sneaking anymore. And now you've got all these other opportunities available to you. Uh, and sure enough, uh, she got, uh, she separated from her husband and slowly we drifted apart, you know? So. But that, that was the one, the one affair that I, that I relished in that it was some of the best sex I ever had. And she, um, th that nobody knew about it. You know, everybody knew about all the other girlfriends I had. But, and I talked yeah. about them on the air. I never talked about her. See? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I want to screw a good thing. It was, it was, well, I was screwing a good thing. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, so, I mean, but I, I, uh, it was just, it was wonderful talking to this guy, and we're going to be doing some business together. Uh, he, he, um, he was one of the good guys, and it's fu funny for me to say that because this guy fired me twice. I should hate him, shouldn't I? Yeah. I should hate him twice as much as I hate anybody else. <laughs> Stuff's and, not personal. And we finished the conversation. He said, you know, this is, we're two guys, but I got to tell you, I love you. And I said, same here, you know. And it, it's a very fond feeling we've had for each other over the years. And every, every now and then we talk to each other, you know. <sighs> memories so anyway um, so um, uh, anybody else have equipment breakdown we can talk about equipment breakdowns it, no. why is it tell me Rob you are the IT guy you sell you don't sell computers but you what do you do you, you service the people who have your computer no no right? no I actually sell systems but you sell systems yeah yeah. Mostly storage. Oh, high end storage. Yeah. But, but knowing all that, I mean, you know a lot more about computers, for instance, than I do. You can write some code, right, if you have to? No. no? Can't write any code. I'm a code loser. Okay, you're a code loser. I'm a code loser, man. Wow. I'm a systems guy. Engineering systems, building systems, designing systems. Code? Yeah. Code. Okay. But you know about computers. So oh, yeah. tell me why. Computers don't break at 9 o'clock in the morning. They break a half hour before you're supposed to go on the air. Well, because you're not using them at 9 o'clock in the morning. Shut the fuck up. You're being, too, you're, being, you're being too logical about this. No, but I mean, I, I swear to you, I came in here and I tried to use a computer and it wouldn't go online. And I looked and the modem had rebooted itself. And I checked. You know, like our log we have here of, uh, of, of a lot of people that listen to the streams and so on. And there was never a dip until about five minutes before I walked in there last night. So here's night. my question, though, because I was going to come on last night and I come in here and, uh, and, and I turn on and I'm listening to that interview that you did, the pre-taped interview um, with... Uh, Bob Rubin, I think. Bob Rubin. Yeah. And then By the way, thanks to Damien. In, thanks and, to Damien. Thanks to Damien, by the way, there you for go. suddenly the realizing that, that something was wrong and he did something about it. Yeah. yeah. That answers the question. Well, what was the question? I'm sitting here going, how are you airing that if you're down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Damien voiced over it at the beginning, you know, saying yeah. that, you know, there was some problems. There's going to be a, it's going to be a rerun yeah. uh, uh -huh. within a minute or two uh, of uh, a run. And then I get a call. I get a call at, uh, I'm, I, I finally decided... I, I've got to get up at nine, so I take a, like a larger amount of Xanax than I usually do to knock myself out, and I get into bed, and all of a sudden the phone rings, and it's it's uh, it's Jack, and he's saying I can't post the show. I said, Haven't you been listening to what's going he on? He thought that show was live last night. Because <laughs> <laughs> he he mentioned in the in, in the intersection that. Yeah, Alex was talking about so and so, and I didn't have the heart to tell him that it was like from February or something this year. I well, wish you I, had. I thought it was live too because I didn't hear the beginning and the intro, and I <laughs> and I must have. And and then I hear all right, well, opening up the phones, and so okay, I get ready and I'm trying to dial in, and I don't I don't see Gabnet live online, and then I hear my voice. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> And when I heard mine, that's when I was sure that it was not live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here comes Tom Yamaguchi joining us from Oakland, California. Or is it Berkeley, Berkeley. Tom? Berkeley. 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 Yeah. Berkeley. Yeah, same thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 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 just different politics. Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so uh, I, um, yeah, no, so he didn't know. And, uh, I, I was kind of cranky because I had been woken up from sleeping, and and um, I said, "Don't you ever listen?" I said, "He says, well, what should I do?" I said, "There, think about it. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> you know, you can't post the show. I don't have a signal." 
you know. So I today I told them all, uh, hey, uh, post your programs, and they posted them, and then I did a, I posted them on the YouTube, onto YouTube, uh, iTunes, and places like that. So, <laughs> but uh, uh, it was you know I mean, but I've got a beautiful new modem here. Wait a minute, let me see if I can. Uh, wh which camera is the? Let's see which camera here is uh, the. I think can you see that, folks? Yep. The blue lights. Yeah, oh, yeah. See the that blue looks lights. like mine. Here, I'll, I'll, yeah, it I'll, looks like I'll, mine I'll, too. I'll, I'll show the By audience. Way, I I don't know if this is a coincidence, but most of your IT problems started when you got that uh, the the last modem. When I got the last modem. The one that you just got rid of. Well, let me see here. I, uh, I can't see the camera. They here brought you up to three hundred. And and you started having uh, that's true problems true. At, that, at that juncture. And actually, your video is never. I haven't, don't remember the last time your video was this clear. Oh really? Oops. Yeah. So well, maybe that's it. You know. Anyway, let me put this back. Here. Or everyone else's. Hmm. And everyone yeah, else. True. Everyone's video is really clear tonight. Wait a minute. Might oh. be a low Skype bandwidth day too. Why do you say that? Oh. Uh, no, maybe it may, it may be maybe a Skype low bandwidth day is right. You know, Sunday is Saturday night. Who knows? Oh, low bandwidth oh. and meaning not that many people. Traffic. I'm yeah, sorry. but you would think that everybody might be making their sex calls tonight. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, everybody's crystal clear. Yeah. 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 Uh, let me see here. I'm sorry that Charlie's face is a little. Oh wait a minute! Here we go. Hey, Renee is calling now. Oh. Huh? Renee's the one that said, "Are you going to do a show tonight?" Well, she. And she's the one that told me I got a message from her. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. And Scott, I would have messaged you, but I can't find your sorry ass anywhere. Yeah. The only thing, yeah, you know, the only thing that bothers me about about this uh, live stream uh, software that I'm using is that it puts my old picture in the square in the bottom. I mean, I can get rid of it if I want to, just by going like this. But when it, when I'm up like this, I'm like butting into Charlie a little bit. I'm on your, I'm butting, cutting off part of your shoulder. But uh -oh. Why is Charlie circular? Oh, no, he's better now. Okay. You're the only one that's circular. You're there, there. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Got okay. It. <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> that's funny. Let, let me see here. Oh, we have uh, for oh. two more. It'd be interesting to see if two more people join us. Uh, if well, we don't have as many people. We have almost as many people listening to us tonight. Listen to us during the weekdays. So oh. we'll see what happens. How you doing, Tom? What's happening? Right. And by the uh, way, maybe I, I should. Maybe I should. Uh, I, what? Went to. I can you, well. Yeah. I went to the email and uh, saw, saw a notification that live screen that we were on. Then you were on at six thirty my time. Yeah. And, clicked on and see if you were still on and you're still on and then listen for a while and says oh i think i'll just go ahead and call in you know so, I, li I like these hours i feel far more awake at this hour than i do when i start an hour later but uh there's nowhere else that we it's like we can't move uh uh, uh damien back or forward because of his hours so i'm stuck with t uh, 10 to, t uh, to midnight but i it's, it works out great you know uh, and we do have uh, what we're just uh, what too short of a full house. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's nice. Um, how you doing, Renee, out there in Hawaii? It was <laughs> so today. There was a half marathon that rode from one of the major hotel slash event centers all the way past my house, and it was a it was a half marathon. And so I just sat on the what's deck. That, what's, what's, a half mar <laughs> what's a half marathon? You hop on one foot? What? It's like 13 miles. <laughs> 13 long? What is it? Yeah, yeah, something like that. So I just sat there. And I thought, or a half oh, marathon. I, I, I hope this you don't mind this, Charlie, but a half marathon could be a race you run. <laughs> <laughs> I could maybe walk it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying, Renee, so... No, I just felt, you know, really uh, guilty for the fact that um, I was just sitting there watching all these athletes actually suffer in the, in the heat. But I felt better afterwards. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. You're using a headset with a microphone. Mm -hmm. Is it the microphone that's giving you the sound? Nah. Because no, it sounds like... It, 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 huh? Nah, it's not. It's touch, not. Your, touch your microphone. Touch, touch your microphone. Just hit 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 your microphone. 
You no, not hear no, it. it's coming through your uh, through your computer. Is it really? Audio. Yeah, you. I don't. asked you about that before. Okay. It, it, before it was going through that mic, uh, but oh. tonight it's doing it's that. So check your settings. Yeah, I, I noticed when I was listening to the program, you sounded a little bit like you were in, you know, off in the room a bit. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. I'll work on it. And uh, and, and I, fi I suddenly decided Phil's mic sounds too good. <laughs> no, I'm serious because it, 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 especially on Jack's show, he should pot you down. Uh, but uh, you, well, maybe I need to pot down. You, you know. probably should a little bit because your mic is so good that it becomes overpowering. Uh, Rob's doesn't for some reason. But then again, Rob's the broadcast professional. <laughs> you know, I, I, my mixing board isn't uh, really an accurate. Uh, when you turn the pot, it, it, you know, it may or may not make a difference. Yeah. Uh, uh, Did the, you adjust it? Because hmm? you have the same board I do, right? Yeah, but I bought it used. That doesn't matter. You, you have to adjust it. Well, I have adjusted it. Uh, and, you know, but I... I even listen through the solos, and I and I can't hear uh, really what they sound like. By the uh, way, we actually we actually we actually have a third less listeners tonight because it's, it's like light beer. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a third okay. less That's filling. Great. Yeah, third less uh, filling. Renee, I'm just reading microphone things. Is that yeah. better? No, it's the same. No, no, you, if, you, if you hit your microphone, we can tell whether it's one being used. No, it's not being yeah, used. Go to your Skype preferences and audio. See yeah, because yeah, I was in general, but that's Start not Start with it. Windows preferences in well, the in actually, the right, actually, Skype would probably have the references. Well, first it. you start with Windows to make sure that the, that the mic itself is not disabled. Then you go into Skype and check the audio there to make sure that you have the right uh, input. Let this right. be a lesson to the rest of you folks out there. Yeah. And with a Mac, it's system preferences. So, so Phil, I have a question for you. I think a long time ago, you were singing the uh, praises of Pete's Coffee, right? Yeah. So I went to a, I found a Pete's on, right near my audiologist. Oh. And I said, oh, Phil, I'm going to try a cup of coffee there. Which one did you so, get? I just got the general. I'm not a big fan of all the fancy, you know. I like yeah. give me some. Give black me a coffee. cup of Joe. Yeah, no yeah. milk, no sugar. Give it to me black. It's, it's a lot stronger than Starbucks. If I, you're, I you're a customer, huh? I completely disagree with you on that. And I, I was saying it. It tasted like the water that when they wash out the Starbucks pot. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you didn't have. Uh, for some reason, they must have messed up that batch. I asked them for to... dark. Uh, give me dark roast. Give me a mm -hmm. medium-sized dark roast, which is what I get in Starbucks. I get the dark roast all the time. And I couldn't finish it because I drink it black, and to me it had no real flavor. There's something about Starbucks, and you got to – you hate it, and then you love it with Starbucks. They messed, they, they, they messed up. They messed up at Pete's. Although Starbucks has won me over, uh, they have limited stores that you can get special – one one cup mixed coffee, and I get this stuff from Cameroon, and uh, and, and and not all the Starbucks have it, but they it's like Phil's coffee where they make it one cup at a time, and uh, with a with a drip system thing, and it is so so good. Uh, if uh, you know, I walk into a Starbucks and I look, and if they have that specialty coffee, uh, then I'll order it, and if they don't, then I'm disappointed. Well, like tonight I am doing their veranda. Oh, the veranda. The yeah. veranda, yeah. And, from uh, the K-Cup? Huh? From, from the K-Cup. K -cup? Yeah. You know, I'll, I've decided the K-Cup is not a bad deal. Because in the old days when I wanted to make coffee at home, I never made coffee at home. Because you had to make a whole pot of the goddamn stuff. And I wasn't going to drink a whole pot of I coffee. Remember, I used to tell you, I, I, you know, I like my Keurig. And you said, oh, I got it up on the shelf. I'm not touching it. I don't like it. You know. I, if I were going to do the Keurig again, first of all, I had never had any luck with them. I had four of them, and all four of them went bad on me. But, so w w but what I would do is get the – because I think those coffee uh, – there's nothing like fresh ground coffee. And I buy the beans, and I keep them in an airtight container, and I have a burr grinder, and I grind them every morning, and I make a nice pot of coffee. 
I would do that with the, uh, I would buy the little K-cup thing. Yeah, that's what I, I have a couple of those. I use, yeah. I use those for tea. The oh, current so does not produce don't... as good a cup of coffee as like a French press or, uh, you know, or, or making the real coffee. What the Keurig does is it produces a decent cup of coffee very quickly and Correct. one at a time. So yeah. it's a convenience. Uh, it, if you're looking for the ultimate in coffee, it's not, it's not the way to go. Right. I agree. Yeah. So, so be it. Yeah. It, 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 Bill has spoken. Yeah. Like, you know, I've never, you know, I didn't start drinking coffee till maybe 15 years ago. Uh, wow, uh, the morning show and all that—you didn't drink yeah, coffee. Uh, well, what did you drink no, in the You morning? know something? I actually did start doing it when I when I started doing a morning show, but after I got through doing the show, I never have a cup of coffee. I never had. It usually, sometimes in the morning, if I'm tired here, I'll make a cup of coffee now. But usually, I would have coffee at Sirius. I would do about half a cup, and that was it. That was my coffee for the day. Wow. Uh, you know. And it wasn't until coffee. about a year ago that I learned that I like to have coffee with cream. And then, of course, I went on the low-carb diet, and I had to knock that off. You can't have half and half on the low-carb diet? No. I, yeah, well, you can have real cream on the low-carb diet. Yeah, yeah. You can. You can? Oh, maybe not in induction, but... Um, yeah, you can, because there's no sugar you in know, it. You know, I don't know from the fucking it's, induction. It's I've been fat. on induction since I began. Yeah. yeah. You know? No, you can have real cream. I don't do more yeah. than 20 carbs a day. My treat for sugar is strawberries. You know, I oh, love I okay. love my strawberries. Right, do you Tom? Make like, you make like a little shake I, out of them? It, yeah, no, I don't do anything. I just eat oh. them. I the, pass by the refrigerator, look in, there's the bowl of them, and I pick a nice big ripe one, and I suck on it. Strawberries suck. are good this year. Yes, they are, actually. Uh, the ones I get, I guess, at Costco come from California. No. Uh, and uh, what Driscoll's, I think, is one of the companies. A lot of the fruit and vegetables that they get comes from Central and South America. Yeah, but, but these say from California. Yeah. You know, so. Hey, look what I got. What? A hey, GoPro uh, here. A four. Got a GoPro. Yeah. Why? Why? Because Why I had two hundred and something thousand points, and uh, I had to buy something, and there was nothing else I wanted. What is it? The four? It's the yeah. four black. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I, I was thinking about getting that, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I just, because I still have my small one and, and my other one, which is the uh, what's the number on this one? Uh, it's the three, and the three is just fine. You know. I, this hooks up to your iPhone, so you can view. Yeah, but view. You, so does so does the three. Oh, and. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, it doesn't come with a uh, with an SD card, so I'm going to have to get one. But uh, I've been fooling around with it, and I paired it up and did all sorts of stuff. And, yeah, no, uh, you, I, you, I paired it up with the uh, with the video uh, with the uh, iPhone, and then you put it somewhere and just shoot with. I, you know, I just uh, I, I I think it's a great little camera. But the only reason I'm not using it now is my iPhone camera is better. Wow, you know. Uh, there, uh, it, it, it's better. It, not that you, I wish. I wish the iPhone had that wide, kind of that wide view that the uh, uh, that the uh, GoPro has. But barring that, it's 4K and it has uh, the uh, quality. I shot something in 4K the other day, blew it up on my TV set. I'm sitting there going, "This is incredible." You know, I'm going to get scuba diving. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yeah. take stills, you can take movies, yeah. uh, uh, and uh, you can post them to uh, social media straight, uh, pretty much straight from the thing into your iPhone. And, uh, hey, Phil, yeah. why don't you send it over to me and I'll be more than happy to test it for you. <laughs> you scuba diving now? <laughs> no, I have, I'm taking my Naui again, though. I have to research. But I've, I've considered getting it, but I already have a GoPro. And while it isn't the newest state-of-the-art one, I'm sure they're going to have a newer state-of-the-art one coming out any coming time. Out. So you're um, always going to have buyer's remorse. And if I'm going to have buyer's remorse, it may as well be present-day buyer's remorse. Uh, somebody speakers. Renee, since she took her headset off, is feeding back. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I shouldn't have even showed up today. <laughs> It's because they knew that everybody knew that Alex was going to be on. 
Yeah. Well, when we're not on the air, you can test and see how you can get the sound uh, from your headset into the thing. I don't know. I, all I know is I, I was looking at some, like, portables and stuff, and we've been thinking about them because, you know, she needs one for to take to work with her so she can do some, some of her books from home at work. And I want one so that I can, if I go somewhere, can take it with me and keep doing the show, you know? And I can't figure out, how do you do it, Rob, when you take your portable with you, okay? The, the, what, all, happened all, what, what happened to Mark? What happened to Mark? That's what dropped. Moving. That, was, that was actually my cat, whose name is Charlie Sheen. Like <laughs> 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 the cat. Look Got at that. Cord on the, uh, on Let, my expensive camera here. <laughs> there, there, there we go. Uh, now, now we need to, you need to move it up a little bit so we can see the full head, headshot. There we go. You know, what, what I was going to say was that... Uh, I just, uh, all I see now is they just have like one input for a headset. So is that the one you use to use the mouthpiece as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and you get good sound off of that, right? Sure. Yeah, so I could do my show using one of those headsets. It's a new MacBook Pro just came out. Yes, I know. Yeah. So? I'm not sure you do, but so, I just mentioned. You know, um, there's always going to be a new MacBook. There's always going to be a new something, you know? Yeah. And, unfortunately. And I mean, fortunately, but, uh, you know, and, and, like and, the watch, right? I just bought a new band for my watch. I got, I, I'm starting to break out. Do you have the, the plastic or that rubber? No, no, I actually immediately went out and bought one of these. Uh, uh, here, I'll show you. Oh, you're uh, on the wrong camera. Well, yeah, well, was, well, I, I, I was trying to show the audience. Let me, let me just take it off here. Is this, it one of those Milanese ones? Yes, yeah, the Milanese that, one. That's what I got. Yeah, oh. this is for the first for the TV people. There it is, and for you guys, there it is. See, and there's the, there's yeah, the that's thing. what I have. I have the same one because I, I I broke out from the from the rubber. As soon as the summer got hit, yeah. and you start sweating under that band, so I bought uh, the Milanese one. Yeah, my friend Dave the cop. Yeah. Got a, uh, a cover that snaps over the watch and protects the screen, and it looks so good. Uh, it, it just adds the right amount of size to the watch uh, so that it, it just is really, it's really nice. Well, I, uh, like, I, I, I like mine the way, that, way it is, and in fact, I'm, I'm amazed at how happy I am with this watch. Are you, Rob? <laughs> I you just, know, when I bought I it, I went, I'm wasting my fucking money, but I'm going to do it anyway. My business manager said, you know, you're not making a, a big salary right now. Why waste your money on one of those pieces of shit? And I got this thing, and immediately I fell in love with it. Yeah. You know. Because I, I was, I, for a long time, wanted it and said, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. There's, I there's like no, all it is is an extension of your iPhone. That's all it really is. But... So, I don't have to put my hand in my pocket. <laughs> my iPhone is on my docking station in my bedroom right now, charging because the battery's low, and I have yeah. full access to stuff here. Yeah. I just got an email. I saw it. Everything's right here. Yeah. If yeah. my phone rings, I'll get it here. I get messages from Renee on Facebook. I, I, I read them, and, uh, you know, she's telling me I should do a show tonight, and then she doesn't call. <laughs> Until I had to I keep the herd. Day. Halfway through the show. So uh, oh, anyway, to... to what? Three cats and one dog. And if you don't yeah. feed them before you go on the show, they get oh, really boy. rambunctious yeah. during the show. We have... Forget, we have forget forget two, new kitten. We have, <gasps> we have two... Congratulations. People. Yeah, she's about six weeks old now. We just got a picture of her today. She's, she's six ounces and four inches long right now. Actually, he. It's a, it's a male cat. What kind of cat? It's another rag doll. It's a seal. Uh, and, and they want it to grow up a little faster so the other one doesn't eat it. <laughs> well, Maxie's 11, and this one, you know, will be the baby in the house. Yeah. Uh, well, how, how, by the way, policy. how was the reaction when you brought the kitten home? Oh, the kitten's not been home yet. It's got to wait till 12 yeah. weeks. Oh, okay. you. Will, your, will your cat insurance policy... Uh, cover both cats, or if do you I have to take a second one? I'd have to get. I, I could add her to it. 
He had a cat. Well, yeah, it's Obama That's cat it. care. Yeah. <laughs> I just took my cat to the vet today. It cost me 400 bucks, and now i got to spend another 1000 because she needs to get her teeth cleaned and possibly an extraction. Well, where so, does this insurance policy, 40-something bucks a month? Whatever happened to the $15 vet yeah. visit? Dollars. Yeah. So I took her today. Today was for a geriatric checkup because she's 11. They did blood work. Yeah, you really, because... you really get depressed when your cat's on cycle nine. You know, she, she, they had to do blood work because she's got to go for this periodontal. She's got to get her teeth cleaned, right? And uh, so before they put her under anesthesia, they make you do blood work. Um, she got her rabies shot. Cat never has left this house, but yet it's a law. You got to have the rabies shot. She got her worming again. The cat has never left the house, but she has to get wormed. Um, and she got her nails clipped. That cost me 385 bucks. And you know what you should have done? Said, you should have just had her run along some concrete. Before you know it, those nails would be just fine. <laughs> she never, she's always on rug. She's always on carpet. Uh, she too. Oh. Did they ever get, did she, did she ever do what my cat used to do, get her claws snagged in the carpet? And Last then, night. Then Mike sits there for a couple of minutes trying to get the claw moved out. Last night I was playing with her on the sofa and she was rolling around and stuff and she had long claws and one got jammed in, in the fabric of the couch mm -hmm. and she would, she was freaking out. She couldn't get it out. And so I tried to get it out and then she hissed at me twice and she's never hissed at me, but she was upset, scared and wouldn't let me touch her. And she was hissing at me. I finally calmed down, let her sit for a couple of seconds and then I said, I looked at her and I said, let me do this. And she just let me take her paw and unhook it. But boy, she, I never, she never hissed at me before. 11 <laughs> years. Where did the insurance policy that you got for the cat kick in for any, does it kick in for any of the things that you had to have done? So it doesn't kick in for physical examinations or checkups or teeth cleanings or anything that's considered maintenance. Now, if she has to have a teeth extract, that's yeah. a different story. So that'll be a few hundred bucks. So uh, hopefully, I'm say hopefully she gets a tooth extracted so I can get some money back. But if she doesn't get the tooth extracted, I won't need to or get the money Or with all back. that money, you could is, have sent a kid to college. Is there uh, a deductible? There's a $500 deductible on the policy. Yeah. So, so you got to kill the cat before you get any money back. Look, if the cat winds up with heart disease or, you know, liver problems or, you know, kidney problems or cancer, that policy will pay off. If not, it won't. And again, I, it, to me, it's like it makes me feel good because I know that How if God forbid something happens and it's five, six thousand bucks, I don't have to think twice. I could just say, I do. How much does the policy cost? It's twenty seven dollars a month. OK, that's not bad. You know, no, that's not bad. Hmm? It's peace of mind. It's peace of mind is what it is. She's 11 and anything can happen. Look, this blood work, you know, they want to check her kidneys because things like that, you, you know, you, you won't know for a long time if, if a cat is ill. Uh, cat, yeah, a cat, cats with kidneys, that is a problem. Yeah, and yeah. you don't know it because cats, they're, they're you know, prey by, by nature and they hide their illness until they can't. Yeah. So, get the blood uh, I think the company I'm using is called Healthy Paws. But think of it this way, Rob. If, if God forbid, the cat should go, and she will eventually, although oh, yeah. she can easily live to be 18, 19 years old. I had a cat so. live to be 18. But then after they go, you can use them as a Swiffer. There you go. You and know, my so cat with the long hair, that, yeah. really. You just put a stick up their ass and start mopping up the floor with them. It's a, there you go. It works. Uh, Tom, do you have it's any pets? Yeah, I, uh, well, actually, not anymore. We, we just had, actually, we had a cat that, uh, that, that I wanted. Um, but uh, I was just saying, you know, there's a guy in Europe that uh, actually uh, turned his ca dead cat into a, a drone. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember the name. Of the, it, it was, uh, oh, Wilbur. I think it was, was it Wilbur? Yeah, because I, I um, uh, because they, they wanted to name it after the, the right one of the Wright brothers, I think they named it Wilbur, 
And so they we have this 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 video of of, of the the cat the, the the cat with the paws, and there's a, a, a rotor on each paw, and they're going, Wilbur, Wilbur, and this thing is slightly running. Did it really take Wilbur. off? Yes, it really flies. Wilbur died last week. Uh, you know, Mr. Ed's. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Alan Young. Human. Yeah, he did. Died last week. Oh. Yeah, Actually, Alan yeah, Young, yeah, very Alan old. Young last week. I am one degree separated from Mr. Ed. We mean from from the horse? Yes. What, you don't have a tail? How are you one? my ex yeah. used to live in Pasadena. Yeah. And her next door neighbor was uh, one of the, uh, the actress who played the next door neighbor on Mr. Ed. And she actually got to meet Mr. Ed. So I'm uh, one degree separated from Mr. She's Ed. Pretty, really? The pretty blonde, right? What's that? The, the wife next door was the pretty blonde, right? Yeah, I'm trying to remember her name, but they, yeah, she knew the actress was their neighbor. Oh, so did Mr. Ed really talk? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It's a burning <laughs> question. No. Yeah. It's interesting. On Saturday night, we get a good sized panel, and yet the audience the level is low. So it's uh... well, the only reason I know is because I got an email from live stream. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, uh, yeah. So you you knew that there was well, the live streams got a pretty good amount of people. Right. Yeah, because when live stream comes oh, on. Oh yeah, I forgot. Be, I forgot when we do the TV, we have people watching on live stream. So if we add the two numbers together, there are a lot of people here tonight. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bad for an unscheduled performance. Right, right. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I really liked it. I liked the going on at nine. I'm. I'm pe 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 Perky and peppy right now. Not feeling tired. Like, when is this over? How many more minutes are left? So anyway, what we got is we've got, we've got two people in Texas. The other night, by the way, when I was listening to Jack, there were actually with Jack three people uh, and Amy. There were four people. It was an all Texas show. No, it yeah. wasn't. Huh? <laughs> am I am I am I right? I think because I was there. Charles, was there. Charles called and Scott called, and then there was yeah. Jack and Amy. And wasn't there one other person from Texas who had called the show? No. And then there was Renee. It, poor Jack. He feels so impressed by the fact that you're in Hawaii. <laughs> Not realizing. I'm what, huh? <laughs> well, the only thing I'm impressed with is is the fact that it looks as good as it does. You know, if I blow the picture up for our audience you can see her look at that look at that she's in hawaii folks she yes. is half half a world away for crying out loud and, all right and, you want me to try and, to call on the laptop but it's no, very no no don't call on the laptop don't call on the laptop it's uh, very bright outside we don't have time for that hey alex yeah did you hear about that radio i i I'm radio legend that passed away what yesterday i heard the story no, i, I didn't even know who this was i can hardly wait till they say that about me <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking for the story again here. Yeah. It was on CNN yesterday. This, this, they even had some video of him, and I was like, I never heard of this guy. This radio legend died yesterday. He's 40 years in the business. What's his name? He, uh, well, that's the problem. I'm trying to find his name. I was hoping Alex knew it. Um, I, I was thinking of changing the name of this program. <laughs> to just using my name uh, and just calling it Radio Legend Alex Bennett. <laughs> I came up with that idea today. You know what? Huh? No, he's not a DJ. He was more personality guy. He was a, he 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 uh, he would he would tell stories and yeah. But no, I, that, when, that was no, in because, May. Sorry. Because, because the, I, you know, there's some possibilities of, of expanding this show to, to other uh, venues, as it were. And um, I, I figured, uh, you call it the Ramble with Alex Bennett, but, you know, I, I, in some towns, Alex Bennett is known. San Francisco being one, New York being another. Uh, uh, notorious in, in Florida for the three months that I did there. They kept talking about me for 10 years. Um, and so, but then I figured, so why call it the Ramble with Alex Bennett or Alex Bennett's Ramble? Just call it Alex Bennett Radio Legend. I think that that would 
you know. All this Donald Trump stuff has gone too far, too far. <laughs> it's gone too far. Yeah, but anyway, so then we have two people out in California, and uh, you're only three days away from a very significant signpost. No more robocalls. Yeah. <laughs> what? Robocalls. You know, the calls that go, hi, this is Hillary Clinton. I hope you'll come. Oh, Are you getting any of those, Phil? Uh, just uh, from some of the, uh, the senatorial rates and things like that, I do get emails from Trump because I signed up for them. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, uh, not nothing from anyone else. Yeah. And okay. I, I found the guy, and, and my apologies. He took his I, final I bow, I, and he I, suffered two brain seizures. His name is Garrison Kyler. Keeler. Keeler? Garrison Keeler? He died? Did he no. die? He's, he, he didn't retired. die. Did he die? He had, oh, he, had a second, he had his second brain seizure just recently, and he's supposedly not doing very well. But uh, oh, thank oh, God, we're not going to have to hear any more of those stories. Oh, oh, see, no. This guy. How come I never heard of this guy? Garrison Keeler, the Prairie Garrison Home Keeler. Companion. You know, I've never heard of. Him. You never You've heard never of heard Prairie Home Companion. No. It was oh, Robert Altman. I think it was it was Robert Altman's last film was The Prairie Home Companion with yeah. Garrison Keillor and uh, uh, I can't Miley remember. Cyrus. Miley was Cyrus was in it. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh my yes. God. Yeah. So Garrison Keillor. If we Keillor, played you the intro, you might you might know it. Yeah, or we could play part of the show and you could just fall asleep right here. <laughs> That wow, was I the most. Was I Ill. often felt, yeah. and, and correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody disagrees with me, that was the most highly overrated radio program of all time. Huh? I disagree. Really, you liked it, Tom? I liked it. You liked that homespun. My Minnesota? mother Alice loved Garrison Keeler, and we we used to she used to play his tapes all the time. Yeah. So yeah, so I was. That was funny because I Rob didn't know him. It, Rob didn't know him so badly that he called him Garrison Kyler. Yeah. Well, you know what? Rob might have, must have heard him. I mean, he's on every freaking Saturday or Sunday, depending on your NPR station. I don't listen to NPR very often. There was almost a point where you couldn't get away from Garrison Kyler. Oh, yeah. No. Well, I've been lucky then. <laughs> yes, Bill. Rob, what reimbursement level? Uh, I know you got a five hundred dollars deductible. What was your reimbursement level, and why did you decide on one? Uh, I could eight, tell, yeah, I'd have to go back and look. And see, Wait, two are we years discussing ago. animal insurance plans? Is yeah, that what this show right has now. become? It's it, it important. Had, it I'm had sure. a very uh, highly rated. This healthy pause was number one yeah. uh, in the in the deal. Yes, but I could. I'd have to go back and look at at the at, at the particular. At the particulars. Well, I think maybe I'll get since it's only twenty-seven bucks a month. I might get that as some kind of a supplement for uh, girlfriend's insurance. Because <laughs> 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 you know, right, well, if she gets worms, you know, if she you'll, gets you'll worms, happy. I'm I'm covered. Now he would have given it to her. Hey, listen, she's has so, had so many things wrong with her. I mean, you know, she doesn't have a bad ticker, and she doesn't have. She only has like structural stuff wrong with her, you know, bone stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're yeah. both going to the foot doctor. We have compa uh, companion uh, uh, appointments at the foot doctor because my feet, I'm getting like, the I don't tingling? know. Tingling? No, well, the tingling is part of the problem, but that's, it's, it, that's not a real problem. I think that's, that's sciatica. But my feet are starting to get like, I have a little like, spur on the bottom of the foot and stuff and i think it's from walking around barefoot on these hardwood floors yeah, I in the that. apartment you know yeah and you know what you could do if you're going to go see your podiatrist ask him to wrap your foot in a, in a soft cast and what they will do is they'll wrap it and for four or five days your feet you'll know how your feet are supposed to feel because they actually Twist well, it and well, cover uh, whatever, it. Whatever, whatever he says. He'll probably and send let me, you go. He'll probably send me to some guy for my st my stenosis or my uh, sciatica or whatever. You know. It's got a lot to do with sitting down too much. Well, it's sitting down, I numb up a little bit. And then when I lie down, I numb. But uh, when I'm standing around walking, no problem. You know. <laughs> so, so maybe I should just stand up all the time. By the way, my watch, I have it set now, so it tells me when I should stand up. Yeah, it does that, too. Yeah, it's it's, it is annoying. I think I'm turning it off. 
I get it. I'm driving two hours to go visit a client somewhere, and it'll say, time to stand. <laughs> yeah. Can't you tell I'm moving at 65 miles an hour? Well, I like to see how much of the circle I can make in a given day. Uh, and and I have it. Set. How many calories do you have it set for, Rob? I don't know that I, the generic, whatever the, whatever the. 200, 200 calories. That's it? That's yeah, all it that's is? That's 200 calories. Okay. Yeah. That's so what I it's try, set for. I haven't I try to walk it. enough for like 200 calories, but it's nice if it goes to like 400, you know. Uh, anyway, Mark, uh, you know, you're the political guy. We got a little, just a few minutes left here, about 12 minutes left. Uh, although I have nobody following me, so I, I could probably night. go on forever. I could go yeah, on all night. Yeah, what are you night. talking about? Yeah, fuck you, Scott. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <It's enough. laughs> oh. <laughs> you want me to leave the room for a moment, Scott? <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 how about how about what's going on right now? Who do you think is going to take California? The Golden State Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm a big Cleveland Cavaliers fan, and that was terrible the other night. Really? I know. I know you have no clue what I'm talking about. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because I had a girlfriend who was from Cleveland, and she was always on her Facebook page writing "Go Cavs, go," you know. <laughs> And so I know who the Cleveland Cavaliers are. LeBron. Uh, on, the other hand, on the other hand, I'm a Pittsburgh Penguins fan, and they are leading the Sharks two to nothing, Renee. So sorry about that. <laughs> Against who? The Sharks. Uh, it, this the is Sharks. The, the National Hockey League Finals. It's yeah. Pittsburgh and San Jose. And yeah. Pittsburgh it's, ahead. it's for the cup, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I thought, they, I thought they wore cups. They wore cups. <laughs> You keep mouthing off about hockey players, and you're going to meet one one day, and you'll be quiet. Nothing like getting a puck in your mouth. Yeah. Actually, actually, Alex, you you said you did meet the hockey the the sharks. Oh yeah, I had the sharks were on my show, and they they gave me I still have it a hockey stick with uh, all their signatures on it. Which I mean, they're probably all the players are dead by now, but you know. No. Yeah. No. Anyway, I, I, Alex, I do have one political comment that I think is really something oh, but, that's. And then I, and then I have an apology, but go ahead. The, the notion that, that Donald Trump is attacking this judge in this Trump University deal because he's Mexican, mm -hmm. he, he, he's, he's, he's telling his people, you cannot trust the judicial system. Oh, you know? I mean, I think that's really, really fast and loose and dangerous mm -hmm. and irresponsible and and would disqualify him, in my opinion, from being president, someone that does that. Well, oh, look, there are a lot of things that disqualify him from being president. Oh, excuse me. I have to stand oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says move. Can you talk and do that at the same time? Oh, yeah. though? Well, I have to. Uh, the mic's way below me. But anyway. yeah, you, look, you look so I, much I, smaller than you used to. I am a lot smaller than I used to be. I lost, I've lost about 35 pounds so far. You know, Good you. I'm wasting away. I want to get to a point where everybody goes, I think he has cancer. Then I will know I've lost <laughs> enough weight. But then you know what will happen? I'll get to that point and I'll go to my doctor and he says, guess what? You have cancer. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you ever see the movie The End with uh, Burt Reynolds? And the first line is, is he, he's in his doctor's office and he's in front of a fish tank going, oh, my God, oh, my God. I thought I was just doing a good job at losing weight, and now you tell me I've got cancer. <laughs> but he was going to tell him he was going The bald. whole movie is a comedy about dying. It's, it's a very good movie if you ever get a it's chance to see it. Anyway. Oh. What? What's it called? The End. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think now. What was, what, where was I? What was I talking about? We're talking right? about the election. Oh, oh. Yeah, I... Um, it, you, you know, I mean, that that's, that that's really a, a uncalled for well, I mean, no, no, I think it's a very, it must be a very good tactic. So when I have to go in and have my depositions in a couple of weeks and uh, I have some, I'll yell at the lawyers. And then when we finally have the court case and I have to go see the judge, I'll tell him he's, uh, he's, he should recuse himself because he's prejudiced because he doesn't like Jews. And, you know, well, uh, uh, it's, a good, it's a good tactic. As a Trump supporter, I don't know where he was going with that one. Well, let I me let me oh. say this. I want to do apologize. Not, not apologize. I want to take something back. 
You know, I've said the whole thing about the, that Hillary should lay off Trump, and then she didn't, and she gave one of the best speeches that she's given since she was running. Mm -hmm. uh, very well crafted, I'm sure not by her, but very well crafted. I'm sure they kept it in their back pocket for a while, waiting for the right moment to give it, and it gave her a lot of publicity, and it made her look a little more presidential because she did it in a way that wasn't playing into his style, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have to say uh, kudos to Hillary. That being said, stupid Hillary, you should have waited to use that when you were running for president because it was that good a speech, you know? And you probably didn't need it right now. Maybe, maybe she's got others. Oh, she's got others. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. But, I mean, it was a, you know, it was a, good, a good solid speech, and I, and I have to really, you know, I, I said that I didn't think she should be mentioning Trump. And in a way, she didn't, because she never mentioned him by name, I don't think, in that speech. No, she did. Did she? But she always oh, calls yes, she him. Did. She doesn't call him any names except Donald. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Which is pejorative, because you could say Mr. Trump, and then you're giving him I, deference. You know? He was always known as the Donald. Yeah. That was his... But, uh, Monica. Well, uh, that made Don that, but, but, sorry, to me the Donald will always be the, the the Donald will always be the duck. Yes, Renee. <laughs> no, I meant to Phil. Yeah. He wasn't always known as the Donald, and when he started seeing Madonna and all of those single named people, he jumped on the bandwagon and named himself the Donald. Oh, he did so, that. <laughs> yeah. So before that, he was actually at least not heard of yeah. in semi normal. Then he changed his name to The Donald, and now we're at this yeah. reincarnation. Mr. Duck. Yes, Tom, yeah. did you have your hand raised? Not really, but I just want to mention, is since we're talking about the election, um, I'm actually going to be back working as a judge at my local precinct again this Tuesday. So So what garage okay, so is that going to be in? What's, that? what's gar that? What garage is that going to be in? Actually, that's going to be an auditorium of our local elementary school. Oh, okay, because let's that's see. Well, my and, my and vote... Actually, my, We've actually got three precincts in one room, as, as we've d been doing in the last uh, several years. So there's going to be a and lot of people there. My uh, voting uh -huh. place has been changed. Wait a minute, I have it right here. In fact, everyone, you I can see the card. There is there. That's for the uh, uh, our what do you call it? Our group here, and that's for the audience. They can see the card, and uh, they have changed the polling place. It's now at the um, Rikers Island. Huh? Wait a minute. I gotta put on my glasses. Uh, your polling pl please be advised. Your polling place has changed. You now vote at Estimado Votante. What does that mean? That's Spanish. Oh well, it's oh, it's the M more housing for the elderly. That's I where I go to vote. <laughs> you see? I, 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 can I ask Tom? Uh, have sure. you done your bike uh, marathon yet? Or a uh, fundraiser? You mean the walkathon? It, oh, I thought it was a bicycle thing. No, uh, that was that was walking. Yes, we 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 did that in April. Oh, yeah, I th April. Yeah, that's in June, I thought. No. So the World Church Services, or? Yeah, that was the walkathon. That was oh. the hunger. That was the well, uh, the hunger walk. Yes. Oh, how did we that turn? That in April. Yeah. How did that turn? Out? A, we did really well, actually. We did Fabulous. Really well. All right. It's a good I organization. It was in June, and I was uh, wanted to help you plug it. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, Alex, I, yeah. I'm not a big TV series watcher, but I have got hooked on a series called The Vikings. Yes, it's a very good Have you show. seen that? Yeah, it's a good show. I mean, you're, you're a good critic of this stuff. It's a very I'm... good show, especially the first couple of seasons. Uh, you know, it's gone on. It's gotten a little... You know, they all get a little unwieldy, but the, at least the first couple of seasons were terrific. I, I thought that was a very good show. And the show yeah, that I recommend to everybody, if you, if you have Netflix, is Peaky Blinders. Um, and uh, I, I, Peaky Blinders, and I suggest, and I don't suggest this often, it's, it is in English, but that you turn on the subtitles. Because the, 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 the language they're using is so thick a brogue that you miss out on some of the wonderful writing of the show by not doing that. 
But Peaky Blinders is terrific. It may be one of the best TV shows ever made. And yeah, my vote in for a Bloodline on on uh, Netflix. I the watched the first season. year of that, and I uh, the second season's good. I liked it. Yeah. I okay. It was well, I'll, maybe I'll give it a try. The first season we felt was good, and we watched the whole thing, but then it ended kind of like unsatisfactorily for us. I like Dice. Yeah, Dice is very good. I'm very surprised. Andrew Dice oh, Clay five really. Five episodes, I think. Right. The, the six episodes did a good yeah. job of it. But yeah. Peaky Blinders is six episodes, and it is really just phenomenal television. And uh, I, I really suggest you watch it. I mean, that, that if you're going to watch anything. Uh, but what's strange about it, it's really well written and created by a guy by the name of Stephen Knight. And I looked up the guy's history, and he's done a lot of stuff. But you know what is the biggest thing he ever did? And this guy is now, this thing's about... Birmingham and criminals and a criminal gang named the Peaky Blinders are called that because in their caps they keep a razor blade so they can blind people, you know. And uh, the 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 uh, show that made this guy exceedingly wealthy, he created Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> okay, which I thought was pretty phenomenal. So anybody have anything uh, left to say? We're we're almost at the two-hour mark. Not that I can't keep going, but I think all you people probably want to do something useful with your Saturday night. Like <laughs> you know, Ella just got signed up for pet insurance for thirty-three ninety-two a month. Who? There you go. Yeah. You just yeah. signed up your pet for yeah. yeah. For how much I, a month? Thirty-three ninety-two. And what do you get for that? Um, let's see. Uh, you get uh, all the coverage, uh, 80% reimbursement, and uh, an, a an annual deductible of $250. And those were the two things that said most popular. So I picked, okay, most popular. Yeah. Okay, so now you got your, your pet take. And uh, don't you feel a sense of relief? On that? I know I did when I did it. Yeah. 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 I do, I do like your new time slot. I have to say that. This is nice. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I wish I could do it every night, but I think Damien would be mad at me. You know. Oh, he like, would. Yes, Renee. So I said to Alex, on Friday nights in the summertime, people who have jobs actually go out and get a beer and all that wonderful stuff. So maybe it would be a good idea to switch instead of Friday nights, um, do a small show and then do a bigger show on Saturdays. But well, we certainly have the people here to you know tonight doing it it's not like a small crowd uh where we're like two short of a full house uh you know so i mean i i might think about that you know i i really have enjoyed this tonight because i don't feel tired yeah. you know well, let's keep you going uh, uh, well, no i think it, it, i'm it, let me relish in this <laughs> and also i it looks like charlie's available on saturday nights yeah usually i am yeah oh see? really yeah yeah. Uh, so it's a Friday night softball. And this is a guy we've really missed all along. And now this week we've gotten him uh, twice. Or maybe, was it twice or three times? You did, you did, twice. You did Jack show, though, too. Yes, I did Jack. Yeah. yeah so. That was did you hear me? I, I just recently mentioned you. I was like, I miss Charlie. I haven't seen him or heard him in a while. You know, every now and then I'll write Charlie and say, give us a call. We love you. <laughs> you know. So he calls Blue out and Blue comes in. <laughs> Uh, I, miss, I miss Lance from North Frank. Carolina because he says less than I do. Who? Lance. <laughs> Lance. Lance from North Carolina. Well, Lance from North yeah. Carolina. No, we haven't heard from him. He's we, very quiet. We haven't heard, He's heard, heard me a couple of times. Guy, uh, Cuth 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 Cuthbert was his name, or what was it? Uh, 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 or yeah. He's, I have him on Facebook. He's written me a couple of times when I mentioned different uh, maladies that I'm uh, having. I'm almost as bad as Alex with uh, yeah. this one that one. And uh, he's he's graciously written me and uh, uh, explained a number of things, uh, uh, you know, health wise. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, next time you write him or talk to him, ask him why he isn't calling. He wrote me and said he's just been very busy. You know, his work hours changed and and things like that. Uh, but you know, people come, people go. But we hate to see guys like Charlie go because he's so good. You know, and and so nice. I might add. And Renee, yes, you have your hand up, and you can make the last comment for this evening. Uh, you know what? I was going to want to talk about sometime the new uh, Uber and Saudi Arabia Prince thing. 
where they dumped a whole bunch of money into Uber. Really? Yeah, a lot of money into Uber. Yeah. I I hate Uber. I really do. Yeah. Do you use Uber or Lyft at all? Never. Okay. Never. I take the, the, the green it. car or the yellow car. What? People use it outside my building, and they all seem very happy with it. That's fine. They can be all happy with Uber they want to. But, you know, it's taking some hard-earning cab drivers out of work, green car workers, black car workers, you know. And I just, I'd rather just see the hard-working guy who's been making the, this business work for years continue to make it work. Also for female, they're not licensed. They're not licensed in, in all yeah, of the yeah. ways that they ought to be licensed. It's a good way to get from safe. one destination to another and get raped in the, in the process. Do they have to have a, a special license, a drive license? No. You could have a regular class five, well, in, in New York, or it's a, just a, re, you don't need a cab driver's license. Not, see, no. yeah, that's the, hey, if yeah, they had yeah. woman drivers, then i take the rape, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome, Alex. And we'll see you all again, all of you, next week. Wave goodbye, would you? So they can uh, just see you waving goodbye. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good night. Uh, anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. That's about uh, all we have for tonight. Uh, we're, uh, we're calling it quits for this evening. But, um, uh, and don't stay tuned for anybody. What we do have, however, is our GabNet flashback weekend in which we have all the shows from the week. Even this one will be there as well. And, uh, of course, this would be on live stream, too. Ah, hey, I have to say it. You saw her earlier, but if you see her, tell her I love her. See you on Tuesday, everybody. Hopefully with no problems because I have a new modem, okay? I, where did that come from? Here, hold on a second. That's my traffic sound. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. Take care of yourself. If you see her, I said it before. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye. And I like to say goodbye to everybody who's watching the TV thing, uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you some other time, okay? Uh, we do this every usually every Friday nights. Uh, we may do it more often than that. We'll see. Anyway, you have a nice night, and uh, uh, we'll see you on Tuesday with the radio version, uh, the audio internet version of this. Okay, I'm just an old radio guy. What can I say? Bye. <laughs>